When StreamSets was founded in 2014, the Hadoop architecture was really coming into its own. Uh, companies were quickly adopting it, and the primary barrier to getting value from the investment was all about getting data into the cluster in the first place. So StreamSets Data Collector was created to solve the problem of getting data from a variety of sources, especially streaming ones, and get data into the cluster with visibility into the underlying metrics of movement, as well as the ability to support schema drift automatically. And after companies expanded from a single data collector into multiple projects using multiple collectors, StreamSets introduced Control Hub, which provides more enterprise functionality like a shared repository, versioning, management of high availability and failover across multiple collectors, reusable logic through the use of what we call fragments, and visibility across multiple pipelines that are linked together uh, through topologies. Uh, during this time, we also saw the explosion of the Internet of Things, as well as the need to do log shipping from servers and devices. So we introduced a lightweight version of the Collector Engine that was written in the Go language, which could be deployed on the edge and managed by Control Hub. This allowed pipeline control, filtering, and forwarding at the edge. But ingestion is really only part of the story with a data lake. Uh, once you have the data in a raw form, it still needs to typically be modified and made to fit for consumption in specific patterns like analytics and ML. In the original Hadoop architectures, this was done by the MapReduce engine, but this gave way over the years to the open source Spark engine. Originally written for ML applications, it's gained rapid and wide adoption as a general purpose data engine. However, the primary way to work with Spark is via code, requiring specialized knowledge and developers writing in Scala, PySpark, or Java. StreamSets is really out to change the mindset by introducing Transformer, bringing all the UI and semantic power of Data Collector with smart pipelines to the world of Spark. Transformer exposes underlying Spark constructs like joins and aggregates, sorts, ranks, and many others into the design canvas. And you can develop these visual pipelines, both batch and streaming, which run 100% native on Spark. Like Data Collector, they're instrumented, providing real-time visualizations while running uh, and summary statistics uh, historically. It also seamlessly integrated into Control Hub, giving you a one-stop design and monitoring environment for Data Collector, Edge, and Transformer. And the architecture goal of Transformer is to allow execution on any Spark platform, whether it's on-premise or in the cloud. Currently, this includes Cloudera, Fortinworks, Databricks, and standalone Spark. In the near future, it will include Spark on Kubernetes, EMR, and other Spark as a service platforms. Transformer also gives you access to a wide variety of sources like uh, HDFS file sources, uh, other local file sources, uh, and common cloud origins and destinations like Amazon S3, Azure ADLS, both Gen 1 and Gen 2, Delta Lake, Kafka, Snowflake, and others. The value of Transformer can really be summed up in one visual. Uh, this is an actual Scala sample of an integration type uh, app on Spark. Rather than having to interpret and troubleshoot this code, which although relatively simple is still a challenge for non-developers, you can instead use Transformer to accomplish the same thing in an interactive visual way with dynamic preview, error surfacing, and easy design, again all running on Spark. So what happens when you launch a Transformer pipeline? Well, first, Transformer converts the pipeline logic into a Spark DAG. Second, it looks for any dependencies that you've put in the pipeline, such as specific origins or target connectors, uh, and packages those up with the app. Third, it deploys the app using either Spark Submit, Yarn if you're running on a Yarn managed cluster, or specific APIs for the underlying Spark platform. Fourth, the Spark Optimizer Catalyst can fully optimize the app that Transformer creates. This means you get the benefits of visual design and deployment, and still also get to leverage the performance intelligence built into Spark. Finally, once launched, the driver in the uh, app communicates back to the Transformer UI and Control Hub with status and real-time metric updates.